it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video I hope you guys are all doing super well today I am doing an exciting video that you guys wanted to see a lot more of on my channel so today I thought I would take you guys firstly through a workout and then show you what I eat in a day so you're gonna get a workout and what did I eat in a day all in one video I've woken up not too long ago and I'm gonna head to the gym with Rachel and we're gonna do a workout and I'm super pumped but it's also like such a miserable rainy day that you just you just want to sit inside and watch movies it's that kind of day today but I have a few meals planned out that I really really want to share with you guys because they are incredible I'm gonna be eating pretty similar to how I ate yesterday um, but really I just wanted to show you guys some of these recipes that you see on my Instagram and you guys always ask what the recipe is so I'm gonna try and do more of these so one you guys get more recipes Piece, but two I can share more of the food that I eat with you guys so yeah I'm gonna film the workout this morning it's just gonna be a sweaty hit workout I haven't had anything to eat today but once my workouts finished I'm gonna come home and have breakfast and that'll be the first meal of the day but anyway let's go to the gym home now finished the gym with rage and wow I was sweating so much like I was honestly dripping that was intense and that's why I really 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 wanted to film it for you guys because I've been obsessed with hit workouts lately it's just been my go-to I've been obsessed with it so I'm writing it out seeing what happens but it's so good if you're time poor because you get in a killer workout like they are so so effective hit workouts are so good for your body and really help with fat burning process if you're interested in that so I wanted to show Rachel that today I have a few others that I like to switch in between and sometimes I just make up a new one but that was our workout it's 45 seconds on 15 seconds off and we did six different exercises plus a 10 minute warm-up on the treadmill before we started the workout excuse my hair I need to sort it out today it's honestly like disgusting but my hair is so fluffy because it is very very humid a lot of people think I have like straight hair but this is my natural hair it's very curly and wavy and it's also fluffy when it's like humid and gross outside as it is today so yeah we'll sort that out that's a later issue but I'm gonna make myself some breakfast now which is my first meal of the day I haven't had as much water as I would have liked to today but I'm gonna finish this one liter bottle before I really start my day I've had like half of it um, but I really like to watch how much water I'm having try to have around three liters so I'm gonna have a protein shake for breakfast using menu protein so I'll talk you guys through that sorry in advance about like the angle of the camera I need a new tripod because mine is broken I have like the little flexi one which is good but for videos like this I need like a bigger tripod so the protein that I use in my protein shake is this um, botanica blends plant protein this is not sponsored in any way but I have tried a lot of proteins and this one is definitely by far my favorite it's organic ingredients it has digestive enzymes and prebiotics in it which help with your digestion it's got a really really good taste free from gluten dairy refined sugar it's all natural and it is so good this is my favorite flavor that I've tried so far it's the cacao hazelnut and it smells like liquid Nutella it is amazing I also really want to try the vanilla cake batter one I think it's called okay so for some reason there's not much ice in the ice machine so I've got three cubes of ice I like my protein shakes really really icy like almost frappe like but a girl's got to eat so then I'm just gonna add in my liquid I use almond milk um, just so that it's nice and creamy this is the one I get it's the blue diamond um, unsweetened one I always make sure I get unsweetened then I like to add a healthy fat to my protein smoothie so it keeps me a bit fuller and this has worked wonders for me I just put in a tablespoon of coconut yogurt this is vanilla coconut yogurt and honestly it's a game changer and then lastly the protein i put in around two 
tablespoons of that. Heap of tablespoons. So then pop the lid on and we'll blend that up. Oh my god, it smells incredible. It honestly smells amazing. I'm so excited. It tastes just like a Nutella milkshake or something you'd get at a cafe. It is quarter past nine, so I'm having my breakfast now. And then I'm just going to make sure I drink a lot of water before I have lunch. And I'll show you guys what I make for lunch. <laughs> time you guys just saw I had like a mid-afternoon snack it's a little bit earlier it's like five o'clock um and I'm going to make myself some dinner but I'm gonna make vegan chicken parmy and I popped this on my Instagram story a little while ago and you guys really seem to enjoy it so I thought I would show you guys how I made it today it's the chicken parmy with some chips as well as my favorite salad at the moment and the salad is amazing on its own like if you just want to make it for like a light lunch or something or it works really well in a side dish as well but the thing that takes the longest is the chicken schnitzel and the chips so I'm gonna pop the chips in the oven and I'm going to turn the oven on to like 180 200 degrees so I'm gonna use packeted chips you guys can make your own if you like if you've got some more time I don't have time on my side today so packeted chips it is and that's how many chips I'm gonna have because these chips are amazing I'm gonna pop them straight in the oven so the chips will take like 20 25 minutes um, so I'm going to get the chicken schnitzel out and just get it ready. What I like to do is actually cook the chicken schnitzel first and then when I flip sides after about 10 minutes, then I'll put a little bit of like pizza sauce on with some vegan cheese and make the actual parmy. But I like to cook it first, so that's just what I do. So the chicken schnitzels I use are by the brand Veggie Delights. This is the packet. And so they're just crumbed chicken schnitzels amazing i love it they look like this it's in like the shape of a heart how cute so i'm just gonna cook one this meal is super super good if you are like gonna cook dinner for like your boyfriend or your partner or whatever and have it ready for when they come home because you can time this so well so in about 10 minutes i'm gonna pop the chicken schnitzel in the oven and then after it's been cooking for like 10 minutes i'll flip it over and put pizza sauce and some vegan cheese on it but for now i'm going to make the side salad Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. I like to use spinach and rocket leaves, like the little pre-packeted one you can get from Woolworths, but I don't have any today, so we're just gonna use some spinach. So I just make it in a little bowl, and you get out a generous helping of lettuce leaves or whatever you wanna use. I just really like spinach. So I put quite a bit in because it's really good. Then I have some already like roasted potato and pumpkin in here that I just have for meals throughout the week. So I'm going to put like half a cup, maybe a bit more into the microwave, heat that up and add that to the side salad. Then I'm going to get half an avocado. And then for the dressing for the salad, I just use some coconut aminos. This is the one that I get. I love it. It tastes good and it's a really good substitute with soy sauce and it's potato ready. So I pop that in the salad. Add in your avocado. I love a lot of avocado in this, so if half an avocado is not enough, add some more. And then I just mix that all together. And then I'm going to add in the coconut aminos once like the whole dish is prepared. Otherwise the spinach leaves will go a little bit soggy. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it sit until I need to serve it. Okay, so the chicken parmi is in the oven and it's almost ready. So I'm going to add in some coconut aminos to the little salad. It is kind of expensive, so I don't go crazy, but it tastes really good. So you have to put a fair bit in. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so delicious. I'm so excited. Then I'm going to add the chips. Sorry about this angle, guys. 
as I've said before, I wish I had a better kitchen or just like better equipment to film these kinds of videos in. Because right now, it's not. And this is our chicken parmy. Whoa. And so this is my dinner. Pretty big salad with the chicken parmy and some chips on the side. Honestly, this is amazing. I'm so excited. So I'm going to eat my dinner now. It is 5.55 and then I'm going to have some desserts later probably uh, because I really wanted to show you what I've been having. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, it is so good to cure those sweet cravings I get at night time. Hey guys, so I've just finished having a shower. Excuse how oily my face looks. I just put on a face mask and did like all of my serums and stuff. But now I'm going to make myself some dessert because if you guys don't know, I have the biggest sweet tooth. I love dessert. I love sweet food. So I make this and it's chia pudding and I just put it in like a takeaway container. I make a big batch at the beginning of the week and it lasts me throughout the weeknights. So this is what it looks like. So I roughly put in like two tablespoons. All it is is chia seeds and almond milk like soaked in the fridge overnight and then I like to add on some coconut yogurt. This one is my favorite brand and I'm having the mango one tonight. I like to get the fruity flavors. If you can find strawberry try that one because it tastes amazing. Then I like to add on granola because I love granola. I just pop a bit on just to add a little bit of texture and flavor. But roughly that is what my last meal of the day looks like. So I really like having this dessert. The coconut yogurt's really good for healthy fat. And then the granola just tastes really good. So I'm going to eat this and it will be my last meal of the day. I'll go to sleep and start all over again tomorrow. I'm pretty good if I'm just at like home all day. But when I'm out and I'm doing things, which is a lot, I just always forget and it's so frustrating. But I'm going to just take a water bottle around with me so that I remember to drink water. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and what I eat in a day. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye.